you little monsters, this little monster girl Desi coming at ya. And today I got a brand new story time for you guys to enjoy. So take out your drawing apps because I'm going to be talking about my experiences with commissioning. So let's get started. So to start this off, I just want to say that I've had a lot of really good experiences when it came to commissioning. So far, I haven't had anybody try to scam me or complain about the price. Though, because of Amino, I did have a bit of a few issues with a few kids. But more on that later. I think the first time I ever opened up my commissions was probably in the December of 2016, I think. My Tumblr friend Neko, who is one of the sweetest people I've ever had the chance to talk to on Tumblr, suggested that I open my PayPal commissions to help pay for stuff during this ho- bleh, during the holiday. <laughs> and I was a bit hesitant at first because I didn't think anybody would actually commission me. But they managed to surprise me with that. I actually got quite a few commissions that month. And while Neko commissioned me the most, I actually got a commission from an artist that I really looked up to, which kind of blew my mind a bit. And I ended up acting like a bit of a dork. Neko, being the sweetheart she was, commissioned me quite a few times during that month, and actually caused me to burn out a little bit. Though I honestly had fun because I ended up drawing a lot of characters that I've been wanting to draw for a while, but didn't really have the motivation to. And at the end of it, that ended up being a pretty good Christmas, because not only had I earned some of the first money that I had in a while, but it was a really big confidence boost knowing that, to some people, my art is actually worth something and it felt really good to earn my own money for once. And later down the road, that's when I ended up meeting one of my favorite commissioners. For privacy reasons, we'll call this commissioner Goldilocks. And I just gotta say, Goldilocks was definitely one of the sweetest people I've ever met, or talked to. I think the first time she commissioned me was probably in February. Around the time of Valentine's Day when I was having a Valentine's Day sale with my commissions. While I'm not a huge fan of South Park, I do enjoy a few of the characters. And the commission she asked for was a couple shot. And she asked for three of the South Park boys being paired up with three OCs from her and her friends. Which I was more than happy to do because I really like drawing cute couples doing cute couple stuff. And also cringe culture is dead. So yeah. OCX Cannon. Deal with it. I always had a lot of fun whenever Goldilocks came to me with a commission request. Each time we would always have small talk and it was always really fun to talk to her. And eventually got to the point where I was extremely excited whenever I saw that she was messaging me. A lot of times she would ask me how I was, which was always really nice. And a few times she actually commissioned me to do gifts for her friends, which again were always really fun because most of them were always couple commissions. So many of her characters were so cute and were honestly a lot of fun to draw. There were even a few times where there were crossover pairings. Two of them being actually Boku no Hero Academia crossed over with Ruby. And I just gotta say, the ships that she did were so adorable. One of them being the golden couple ship, which was Yang Xiaolong with... Oh god, I can't think of his name. What's wrong with me? Uh... The guy who can phase through things? If you're a fan of show, you'll know who I'm talking about. And the next being Ruby with the... Damn it, not again. Uh, the guy that can create tornadoes and stuff? I don't know. I'm sorry. But either way, there were ships that definitely made sense and were a lot of fun to draw. Because it was also the first time that I ever made Boku no Hero Academia fan art as well as Ruby fan art despite being a fan for quite some time. But the biggest surprise she ever gave me was actually when she commissioned another artist to do one of my OCs. And this was a Christmas gift, which I got a little bit early, but I honestly loved nonetheless. And while Goldilocks hasn't commissioned me in a while, she is still definitely my favorite commissioner so far. I'm pretty sure I said that twice. But moving on, next I'll be talking about my commission experience on Amino. And those of you who are here from Amino will definitely know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who don't know, Amino has a props and coin thing going on, which is honestly the bane of my existence. On it, people can give their favorite artists props 
to show their support, but the coins are, in general, pretty useless. At least to an adult who needs to buy food instead of stickers and gifts. And this is where the problems kind of set in. Since gaining a pretty big following on the Edsworld Amino, I've had quite a few little hell spawns and imps asking for prop commissions, as well as a few asking for collabs and art trades, which is a thing on its own. And while I am really glad that people want to show their support, as I said, the coins are the bane of my existence. And while I'm generally aware that, that the users on Amino are probably around 12 to 10, it has honestly caused me quite a bit of grief. For one thing being that whenever I get props from somebody who honestly wants to help support me, I feel guilty for not appreciating it. On the other hand, when people ask for prop commissions, more than half of them have complained about it, even when I try to give them an alternative that will benefit us both in the long run. On Tapas, where I post most of my comics, they have a system similar to Amino, but the only difference is the support you give actually supports the artist with real money. Reason being, artists or authors who have the whole support system attached to their accounts can have a thing called ink donated to them. And ink can either be bought or earned from watching small ads and stuff like that. And when donated to artists slash authors, converts to real money to help actually support them in their day-to-day -day lives. But even after explaining this, quite a few of them have still complained about it. Mostly because, I guess it's too much trouble to create a new account. And has led me to actually stop posting a majority of my comics on Amino and just posting part of them on there, and the rest of them on Taspis. But luckily, not all of my experiences with commissions on Ta- Amino, I mean have been bad. Some of them were actually really good and enjoyable. One of my first commissioners on there, which we'll call Valentine because her first commission was of Rosie's doing cute couple things, was a really nice person. She just popped up one day asking if my PayPal commissions were open, and I was ecstatic to tell her yes. And she asked for a sketch page which is one of my more popular commissions. In it, she gave me two characters to draw and just told me that she wanted them doing cute couple-y things, which I was more than happy to do, because again, I like drawing cute couples doing cute couple stuff. And she ended up liking it so much that she asked me if she could turn it into a coloring page, which I was more than happy to say yes to. Fun fact, on one of the commission aminos, she does a little commissioner review thing, and I absolutely loved what she said about me in the review. Again, another confidence booster. My second Amino commissioner, who we'll call Miss Muffet, asked for help with designing a character, which she would use for her role plays, I'm guessing. She gave me details about the picture and the species of them, and I was more than happy to draw it for her. She also asked to see the work in progress, so she can make sure that she was getting what she wanted and she wasn't causing me too much trouble. Which again, I was more than happy to do because it was definitely helpful to get a little bit of insight step by step. And in the end, the character turned out just like how she had wanted, and I had fun doing it. While I don't really like spiders, it was definitely fun to draw this character who had the upper body of a human and the lower body of a spider, as well as six eyes and some really pretty pink hair. And so far, my last commissioner, who we'll call Sharky when it came to Amino, asked me for a furry picture. Which, again, I was more than happy to do, because I really like drawing animals. And the character they wanted me to draw was so cute. I'm not completely sure if it counts as a furry, considering that it was a shark-like character. But I had a fun of ton drawing it. Fun of ton? What the fuck? While the colors weren't extremely bright or extremely varying, varying with the what? It was, however, really fun to do. I'd always really loved the ocean, and the colors were definitely great to work with. It was mostly yellows and blues, but all the different shades of them went together really well. And in the end, it turned it out really good. I even experimented a little with a few things, like how I did the shading and such. 
so it was good experience to put in my back pocket. On top of that, the back and forth conversation we had was really fun. When I was giving her the paying options, she was a little bit, I guess you could say skeptical, though she might have been joking a little bit, and overall asked me how she could be 100% sure that I wouldn't just take her money and leave. And I told her, well, overall, even if I were to try to take your money and not do the commission, odds are my guilt and anxiety would slowly edit at me. Crushing my already fragile heart to the point where I would feel compelled to do the commission just to get rid of it. And that she overall didn't have anything to worry about because guilt and anxiety are good motivators to get something done. And then we had a good laugh about it. I'm a bit of a dramatic person. And lastly, I'll be talking about my saving grace that is Tapas. And as I said before, Tapas has a support system of which that I've actually opened a small commission thing for, which is honestly something that I wish I had done sooner. I've been on Tapas for a while posting my comics and stuff, and I've had a few people say that they wished that they could commission me but just didn't have the money to do so. But at the time, I was a little bit anxious about opening ink commissions, though at the time they were known as gold, so I didn't open them. But then after joining Amino and having so many people ask for prop commissions, I thought it would be a good idea to open ink commissions instead. And it was definitely a good idea. While the commissions aren't big, because it does take a little bit of time to actually collect all the ink needed, the commissions are overall about like 2 to $5. And I definitely got a few cute requests, one of them being an evil goat god for a D&D thing which snowballed into something bigger later on, which has actually led to the current commission that you see in the video. Though this one, being as big as it was, was actually a PayPal commission, and we'll call this user D&D, &D because they tried to get me into d and I had been talking to D&D &D for a while, and they wanted me to help with adult character designs of these two characters you see. And D&D was honestly super nice about everything. Just like Miss Muffet, he walked me through everything step by step, and I showed them work in progress, just to make sure I was getting everything right. And it was honestly a ton of fun to do. This picture took me about four hours to do overall, without any complaint on my behalf. Though of course I had to take breaks in between because Four hours hunched over definitely does a number on ya. Originally this picture was $18. The boy was pretty easy to do considering that his outfit isn't as complicated as his sister's, but was definitely a bit of a pain in the neck, literally. And D&D, seeing how hard I was working, and how low of a price that I had for the whole commission, gave me an extra $10 because he is just that nice. And I, and I actually ended up tearing up quite a bit. And I almost cried when I started on the girl's outfit. Because hell, colonial clothes are so hard to draw. Why did they have to have so many layers? But it was honestly so much fun to do. Despite all the pains, I absolutely love how it turned out. And I can honestly say it's one of my proudest accomplishments so far. And it actually inspired this video. Because the, commission took, because the commission took so long to do, I wanted to turn it into a speed paint, but I definitely noticed that I couldn't slow it down without it getting all choppy. So then I decided, what the heck, I'll do a story time to add with it. And here we are. And I guess that's where this story ends. boy, that took a while to record. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little tweaks I've been making to my videos. Because, once again, I'm pretty much changing up the layout. That way I can make my videos a bit more entertaining to watch. Or listen to. Whichever. And yes, I'm also changing up the end card a bit, too. And so, if you guys are still watching up until this point, I would like to give a quick shout-out to my Tapas Ink supporters. Or at least the ones that have given me the most support for the last two months. So a big thank you to Yamba, One Weirdo, Intense Inferno, and Kale. 
Thank you guys so much for your support. And of course, my tapas ink commissions are still open if you guys are interested. And another quick thanks to everybody who's given me fan art. I honestly really love seeing it. And knowing that my characters and me are interesting enough to actually draw. I know usually artists on here like to think they're Patreon supporters, but my Patreon isn't exactly popular. So once again, I'm doing my own thing. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give that like button a boop. Subscribe if you're not already, that way you don't miss out on my content. And make sure you hit that bell button. Though lately YouTube has had a habit of not alerting people, so good luck with that. And if you guys want to request something, I'm currently looking for more creepy pastas as well as monsters to review for my monster bites. I also put up polls on the amino communities I'm in, that way you guys can vote on what you want to see. And with all that said, look out for the monsters under your bed, and I'll see all you jelly beans in the next video. Bye!